Hello and welcome to Panorama Noview 6 dashboard demonstration. My name is Shimon and today I'll show you some of the features of Noview dashboard. Noview dashboard is a content management system which allows you to organize um, and share with the user community the business intelligence uh, content of the organization. Using Noview Flash Analytics or uh, other visualization components, you can build pages, uh, whether interactive or static, with gauges, charts, and grids um, connected or not connected, bringing data from different uh, data sources to a single page. Using dashboard, you can build a flow of guided analysis. Uh, usually, um, we'll start with a global overview over uh, company performance, something like this page showing four different gauges on the top, uh, each showing a score and the trend uh, for different departments of my company. Uh, here below we have exception area uh, highlighting some exceptional products which are doing lower than certain uh, margin and a trend chart uh, showing different metrics such as gross profit margin over a period of uh, one year. The dashboard is highly interactive. Using uh, simple clicks we can choose what to display on the chart whether sales data or operations or other um, or we can see the data behind the chart in numbers or back to the chart uh, and uh, we can filter the page using these links on the top either by territory of sales or by fiscal date for example let's see the performance of my company considering Europe as the sales uh, area and all the components are refreshed showing the new data. Now let's focus on the sales figures. We can go and choose a different page of dashboard from the top menu or we can just click on one of the links which takes us to the different page. In this page we'll also see four gauges on top uh, which show sales figures for different departments uh, of uh, my company, for different product departments, and two charts, one for channel sales and one for direct sales. As you can see, uh, the filter of Europe uh, came with me from the previous page, and uh, at this point I don't need it anymore, so I'll switch back to see the global sales. And again, some uh, basic interactivity here. Um, limited functionality in terms of analytics. Once I'm done and I would like really to do some advanced uh, analysis, I can go to a different page, such as this one, in which a single flash analytics component is shown um, a full screen on the page with enabled uh, functionality such as parametric analysis, all kind of uh, drill downs and drill ups on the data, filtering on different dimensions and many many more. Novaview dashboard supports both flash analytics and classic analytics and it takes only one click to switch between the two so you can embed both components. Um, except for analytics, there are a lot of visualization components uh, uh, which are great to be displayed in the dashboard because in dashboard components can be linked. For example, in this page uh, there is advanced visuals component showing a really nice radar chart and uh, the data for this chart comes from the uh, flash analytics component on the left. As I drag my mouse over numbers, I can see the flash chart uh, changes and shows different data. This rather chart is nice because it shows me um, the data, the sales data, over a period of one year, and I can easily see seasonal highs and lows. There are about four high uh, uh, periods and four lows. And if I slice my data by uh, Europe, I'll see that in Europe it's even more uh, dramatic, uh, the highs and the lows. 
Another interesting visualization um, is the tree map, which can be also placed side by side with analytical component. Analytical component brings the data from uh, some database and the tree map visualizes it. Tree map allows you to compare and find correlation or uh, uh, miscorrelation between two measures. In my scenario, I analyze some demographic data and I choose a area and population uh, metrics while area um, is visualized by the size of the rectangle and population by its color. So by looking at the world parts, we can easily see that Asia is the most uh, populated uh, part of the world. We can drill down these parts. Once uh, clicking on the tree map, the data is drilled down back in the component. We can zoom on Europe and see that uh, in this case, Germany, even though not the largest, largest country in terms of area, is the most populated one. Um, another interesting visualization uh, is this one. Uh, it demonstrates really nice how Panorama can be integrated with external component. NovaView has a very rich uh, API set uh, which allows to uh, send and sync data with a different component such as uh, this uh, Google Earth. Uh, on the left side we can see exceptional areas, exceptional in terms of very low sales and uh, there are five such areas um, in uh, Europe. Remember we filtered before and uh, these areas are mapped uh, here we can even fly to, let's say, West York and see on a map uh, numbers which come from NovaView Analytics on the left. Finally, uh, NovaView dashboard is extremely customizable a uh, portal. You can customize the HTML and make it look uh, the way you really like to match your corporate uh, branding or just a personal style. So this is just an example of page which looks completely different and again all the components are uh, interactive. Okay, uh, again fully interactive, I can choose my time period or my measure. Thank you.